Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys such as bourbons, rise, uh, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That will alert you to when I'm doing new uploads or live streams. So today from Barrel Craft Spirits, we've got their barrel whiskey or their infinity barrel uh, project. This is one of those ever evolving uh, types of whiskeys. And this is gonna be as of June of last year in terms of the blend that they had at the time. Uh, this one was coming in at 118.5 proof, uh, is non-age stated. And the mash bill on this one is undisclosed. However, what this is, this is a blend of nine whiskeys uh, from four different countries. So it's ever evolving. And that's the point of the, the infinite uh, barrel project is that it's gonna be one of those things that's ever evolving. So something different, and again, this is what Barrel Craft Spirits does. They're always kind of pushing the envelope, doing different things. Um, so that's one thing I really appreciate about what this company does is that it's always something different. So this one specifically, again, the Infinite Barrel Project, uh, this was coming in at 118.5 proof, uh, age statement, non-age stated with it being different blends. Um, and again, the mash bill on this um, is undisclosed, but a blend of um, uh, nine whiskeys from four different countries. Uh, MSRP on this is anywhere from about that 85 to $100 uh, price point. So why don't we get into the review? Typically what I do with my reviews is we'll get into the appearance, nose it, taste it, uh, and then really get into anything else having to do with the whiskey itself. So, all right. So as you can see, color wise, you know, a nice kind of light, light copper uh, type of color to that. So, and again, move it around in the, uh, in the glass a little bit, that will help introduce a little bit of air to it, let it open up a little bit. And then second, you'll see how oily it is. That's one thing I really look for is to see the amount of oil that's left on the glass, just so be, that will allow for you to get an indication of maybe how oily it will be. And then that usually translates to um, more flavor on the palate, the more oily that it is in generally speaking. So, all right, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the nose here. Oh boy. So right away I get this like maple syrup type of note. Definitely some of that malted barley. Ah, nice orange peel type of note to that. Ah, a little bit of plum that's there as well like a sweet, nice sweet plum. Ah, even some raspberry, that's interesting. Not something I get all the time in terms of the dark fruits, but this is really more very specific as a raspberry type of note. Really nice rye spice to that as well, or baking spice. Medium oak that's there, that malted barley kind of continues to linger a little bit. Some of that light floral or honey type of aspect to it as well which is usually something I get with, with the malted barley is this honey, floral kind of softness that's there. Uh, ever so slight smokiness to it there as well. And maybe that's almost like a peat type of, of note. Not, not dominant or anything. I'm not a huge scotch guy. So this is not like overwhelming by, by any means, but a little bit of that smokiness or a little bit of like a peat that's there. Yeah, very, very interesting uh, nose so far. So more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. So some heat up front right away. Again, 118.5 proof. Again, you still get some of that lingering malted barley, that honey, that floral note. There's that softness that's there to it. Very pleasant, really nice note right up front. Again, some of that oak, some of those nice baking spices are there. A little bit of a leather note there as well. Even some, like a zest, like more of like a lemon zest uh, type of note. Some citrus, maybe that's some of the malted barley, that floral um, kind of honey note. And that's a lot of times what I pick up with uh, some of the, the malted barley is some of that, like that zest or that floral note, that softness, that like kind of light honey type of note.
Yeah, very, very interesting. And again, it's very much like when you're creating a, an infinity bottle at home where you're adding different things. So the complexity of it is going to change depending on what it is you're adding to either your bottle or to the batches that they're adding with, with these. So you're getting those, those subtle changes um, and depending on what it is you're adding, it can change either slightly or you know, very dramatically um, based on the, the type of grain that you're adding. But this one's very interesting so far. I and mean, one thing I really like with, again, with what Barrel does is they're always pushing the envelope, trying different things. So this is kind of their take on, on what we would create at home with an infinity bottle. So definitely give this one a try. I mean, I would say from a buy factor, I would give it a, a buy recommendation because of its uniqueness. It's very different. Um, if you're looking for something that's different and unique, this definitely hits, hits all those marks. So um, going back to the whiskey in terms of how it's finishing, I would say there's still some of that sweetness um, that's there from, from the malted barley. So you're picking up some of those light honeys, that floral, uh, floral characteristic. Still some of that, that, again, that malted barley that's there. Light oak, a little bit of like an orange peel or orange zest. A um, little bit of like a lemon zest as, as well, um, like I picked up before. Slight bit of dryness to it, but finish-wise, I'd say is probably on the shorter side of, of medium. Um, still a nice finish. Um, you wish it had maybe a little bit more uh, that was there, but overall, in terms of like its complexity and uniqueness, um, I mean, it's right up there at the at the top. I mean, it's very different, and I would think this is going to be one of those those whiskeys that will just continue to change for you. I think each time you sit down with this type of of pour, you may pull some different characteristics out of it, which I think is what a lot of people a lot of times are looking for in a whiskey. This keeps you kind of on your toes. So. Again, I think they've done a really, really nice job with, with this, um, this project. So give it a try. Um, I think you'll be very, very surprised with, with how different and unique this really is. So with that being said, uh, I wanna say thank you so much for tuning into uh, another one of my reviews. Again, this is the Infinity Barrel Project from Barrel Craft Spirits. Uh, if you'd like to help support or contribute to the channel, uh, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. Uh, always again, uh, thank you so much for tuning into uh, another one of my reviews. And uh, if you'd like to follow me, uh, you can on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all of those places. And also let me know in the comments below, is this something that you've tried, uh, your thoughts, your experiences with it? I'm always interested to hear people's feedback on these particular whiskeys. So with that being said, again, thank you so much for tuning into uh, another one of my reviews. And like I said,